welcome to another episode of Black Man in the Village. For those who have subscribed, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, we're about to head to town. We're going to be in town just for one night this time. Uh, do some things. So we're going to take you guys along with us on this trip. That's the crew that's going with us today. So today, we're bringing the oldest, the oldest son, the oldest daughter, and then the third oldest. So once we get on the road, you guys, I'll be back. All right, guys, so we're about to head out. We're on the boat. There go the beautiful wife, Jocelyn, next to me. <laughs> Heading out to the club. There go the crew. Uh oh, forgot to put that up. Come on, Anthony. My son is at one of the boatmans today, but he's going with us on the trip today. Hold on, guys. We're about to head out. Today we're in the big boat. So you see this boat is bigger. It's got more room. That's the other brother in law. He's from Manila. See? Oh, oh, oh. Hey guys. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be back to show you some view on the road. So we're on the road, you guys. Look at the wind blowing through my daughter here. That's that fish. Guys, remember Shoe Island?
this. All right, guys, so we finally made it into the port. Boat's still rocking a little bit. Get my car to hold it on. So we're gonna cruise on into the port. Uh, we should have a van waiting for us. Here's a boat leaving out from the port. They leaving out from the port. I think this boat right here on the left was a fishing boat that we saw further back. But that's what a fishing boat looked like right here. This this right here in front. You see nets and everything hanging from the boat. Smoke coming from under somewhere at the bottom, but you see the skis on that boat? That's some big old skis. Then it got a little room on top. So somebody would probably live on this boat. We see a lot of guys here with head on the dock. So we probably go in right there. What's the name of this dock? Pan on what? Pen and Pu An. Pinon. Pu An. I just wanted to get you on, on, on my block. <laughs> so that's the brother-in-law getting ready to go off and uh, he's going to go get the van. So this little car getting ready to take and go get the van. We're here on the port now. And then this water, these are empty. So we're going to get these full and they're going to take them back home um, before we... We're going to keep going and they're going to fill these up and take these back home. So, this is the port, you guys. And that's the big fishing boat right there. So, there's another fishing boat with some people on it. That's another, uh, that's a passenger boat that you guys see over there. With all those people on it. This is the port. So we're gonna go over there and wait till the brother-in-law come back with the van. Where's Ginger? Uh, so I was looking for my dog, I don't see her, but one of the kids got her. So these are uh, passenger boats over here. It looks like one passenger boat getting ready to go out. So that's your taxi boat right there that goes up and down this coast and drop people off at different villages. And what is only about what, 80s, 40? I think it's like 40, 20 or 30 pesos to get to your village, which is about uh, 50 or 60 cents. So that's passenger boat pulling out right there. That's the taxi boat right there. You see people on, people on this taxi boat waiting to leave. All right guys, so once the van get here, I'll be back. So we're sitting here at one of the nieces' grandfather house, which is that one right there. So everybody sit here waiting. We're waiting for the van to come back, the brother with the van. So we just came from that way. The port is that way. So this is like a little community. You see they got uh, nice sized roads and it goes through that way and it goes down that way. So you see there's a lot of people out today. All right, that's my daughter and son, the two oldest that's gonna be on this adventure with us today. So, let me flip around, so. No, thank you. I'm gonna wait till I go to Jollibee's. Yeah. <laughs> they asked me if I want some pansy, but I'm gonna wait. Uh, we passed by Jollibee's going to town, so I, w I want something from Jollibee's. That's the chicken place. But I'm not gonna overdo it, you guys, but I want some Jolly Bees. I want some, but you guys can see behind me, a lot of kids out. So this is a little community that uh, I'm in right now. You see a motorbike just passed me. Uh, a lot of kids are out over here looking. And like my crew, we're sitting, sitting waiting for, um, the brother-in-law to come back with the van, so when he gets back, I'll be back here. Guys. 
So we're still sitting waiting, you guys, for the man to come back. Uh, some of my wife wants some water. Some of them got soda. And um, they eating, what are they eating? Pansy. See the bag my daughter has, Jenna has? The pansy. Show them the pansy. Wait, wait, wait. See? Let's eat it out of the plastic bag. Hi, Kuya Rob. Shout out. Shout out to my mom. Shout out, Kuya Rob. That's Jonah, you guys. She said shout out. Shout out to all the blood. That's Jenna May. Shout out to all the subscribers, all the viewers, all the friends back in the US. How are you guys? Mm -hmm. I got to be back, still waiting. Hey guys, so what's up? Got a new subscriber? Yes, let's go back. And Will, Will. Okay. All right, all right, so he's a chicken guy. We can't buy some chicken, so he's subscribed. Okay. All right, guys, so the brother-in-law finally, finally, Got back with our van, so this is what we're gonna be rolling in for the next two days. Uh, big old high ace Toyota. Alright, so we got some room in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seater, and all this room back here for our luggage and stuff. But oh, two seats on the side too, so we good. So we got plenty of room. So we'll be rolling this the next couple of days. All right, you guys, once we get on the road, we'll be back. So you guys, the brother-in-law was driving, but since this is a uh, <laughs> automatic, the wife decided she want to drive to the to the little water place. But yeah, she's so happy. She haven't drove a car in what, almost a year. I hope she. I hope she knows what she's doing. Uh, she getting confused. She's trying to take the parking brake up. Alright you guys, hold on for a second. Vegas! Going to Italy time. So I guess the brakes, parking brakes still ain't off. You you putting the brakes on when you pull it up like that. They say press and turn. That's to get it out of the brake. See that? Press and turn. Where's the button? What are you pressing? There you go. She got it, you guys. She got it. Look at it. No, wait, don't hit those kids, girl. Don't you hit those kids. See, she already driving crazy. Look at that smile on her face. Been almost a year since she drove a car. Look at it. <laughs> so we got the wife driving us right now here in the Philippines. Uh, excuse the dirty window, but you guys can see out there. She rolling, she rolling. Look at her. She's doing her thing. That's the crew, you guys, that's with us. So the wife driving. You know where you're going? So she's going just around the corner. This couple of miles. So she just had to drive. Look, she in fashion, y'all. Got the 
got the holy jeans on. Baby. She's only driving to the water place. This is the water place behind us. But we're going to take all our jugs. So, that's the road here in the Philippines. This is the water place. So, we're going to head on to Tacloban, the city of Tacloban. And um, this place will deliver our water back to the port where our boat at. Um, so they, they're going to take the water back there. But this is where we're at right now. Our journey is getting ready to start. So we're on this road. We're going to go that way. So you see a few stands and stuff across the street. So up and down these streets, you'll find a lot of these little stores and stuff. They're going to motorbike, motorcycle. It's a tractor down there, so it looks like somebody probably gonna be building a house or something right down there. You see the kids over there across the street. So I'm telling them to deliver to our boat gasoline. So, all right, guys, once we get back on the road, get with you. So guys, we're still on our way to Jacoby. Stop getting that purple ice cream. It's actually good. Everybody back there munching and eating ice cream. Okay, you guys, still on the road. Uh, just not getting to the clothing. You see the big sign right here, the red sign. Welcome to Tacloban City, Philippines. See that? See that, you guys? So we're fishing officially in Tacloban. Look at this little motorbike. We got our love to Clovin on the back of his. So that's the type of transportation people use to make money. I got another one on the side. There's another one right there in front. So we're heading to downtown to Clovin. Once we get down there, you guys, I'll be back. It's been kind of busy today, you guys, but I want you guys see all these different transportations. <clears throat> He's getting ready to pick someone up. There's on the side waiting for business. There's a little GE bus in front of us. I got it. Ain't nobody gonna take this one for me, girl. She said she, I don't know that. All right, guys, so you can see behind me. We're in downtown Tacoma, we're walking. We're gonna go meet the kids. Um, 
they park somewhere around here. But you see all the vendors behind me, a lot of vendors, a lot of stores, a lot of people. So, you looking for our kids. Let me see. Huh? What, what, what color? Uh, oh, yeah. So, my wife pointed out another foreigner. So, this is the alley down here, you see. You see all the shops on my right. This is a wife in front of me. It's Jocelyn in front of me in the yellow shirt. I'm following her. A lot of shops, a lot of shops over here on the right. So, everybody trying to get her to go in the shop. Look, McDonald's, you guys, across the street. I got McDonald's. Jolly Bees is the other way, baby. Did you know that? But, right, you said they was near Jolly Bees. Jolly Bees on the other end. So. Is it is it our bun right there? Where? Right there. Oh, that might be it, huh? Yeah, that Toyota right there. But they said Jolly Bees, but they bought McDonald's. All right, let's go. So we trying to get across these streets. I think this our van just darkening right here. So we're looking for the kids. Yeah, I think that's us. Yeah, he just he just clicked the lights to let us know that's him. So I right, once you get the kids, I'll be back. Hi guys. Now you can say hi guys. So we're back in the van, you guys. Get ready to head to the hotel. So Got yeah, my daughter over there, my daughter right there, my son right there. Good right night. somewhere in the back. So this is downtown Tacoban. We're gonna look at it a little bit through the front window. Me and the wife was just walking. So we think we're gonna run to the hotel, get our room, and then probably go to the mall. So a little bit of downtown Tacloban. You guys see how busy it is. How you say it? Tacloban? Tacloban. All the motorbikes on the left. All that transportation. That's a big business here is transportation. Buy a little food on the right over there. More transportation here on the left. Hey right, guys, so I'm almost at the hotel. This is the mall right here on the left. <laughs> So our driver's going the wrong way, so we have to back up. But this is the mall on the left. And this is our hotel right here on the right, the Summit Hotel. So we're right across from the mall. So, this is our hotel, and all we do is walk under that walkway, and we're in the mall. Hotel right here, mall right there. All right, guys, we're gonna unload, and I'll be back. So, we're here at, at the hotel, you guys. They unloading back there, but uh, we've been in the car. I'm taking my dog for a walk. So I have to take all the way down here to, to the streets and then take a left. And then some grass down there. So once we get down there, I'll be back. But I need to take her so she can use the restroom. All right, guys, I'll be back. So this is where I got to come for my dog to go. So we out on the main street. You guys can see 
This is the clothing. That's my hotel over there. And that's the mall right there. Ah! I wanted her to go on the grass, but I guess I'm talking. Didn't get her over there quick enough. So if she's gonna go, then I'm gonna scoot that to the dirt. And this is it, you guys. See the different transportation, Jimny buses. Uh, motorcycle transportation with the carts on the side and that your manual transportation that's a bicycle so I guess she's gonna go a couple of times mosquito just got on my nose and keep on trying to get on me and I keep trying to hit it all right, guys, so this is uh, Tacloban, City of Tacloban. This is one of the main streets. I'm going to grab my dog and go back to the hotel, get in my room. I'm tired. All right, guys, so we made it to the hotel. So, you know, it's, my daughter recently had a birthday. My son recently had a birthday. So we had one of our subscribers wanted to wish my daughter and my son happy birthday and my mother-in-law. we would get her when we get back to town. So this is what he sent them. So... <laughs> yeah, five. five. Count it. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and for my daughter. Awesome subscriber. Thank you. And thank you very much. I appreciate this one. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Thank you. I'm so <laughs> touched. <laughs> She, she says she's shy, that's why she's acting that way, but she really appreciated it. Both of them really appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. you so very much. Now they can go into the mall and have some fun. I can buy that. Thank you. All right, guys. So we'll be back. All right, guys. So we're in the mall. We're about to eat. Got the daughters and the wife. And my son back there. We just ordered food, so... Once our food comes, we'll be back. So, right now the kids are enjoying fries. So, my son Mill just came up. Oh, look at that, y'all. It's sizzling. <laughs> Got the egg right there. I don't know what it is, but that's what he ordered. Sizzling? Sizzling, I guess. I don't know. But look at it. Oh, it's sizzling. That's why they call it Sissing. 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 No, Sissing. Sissing. I know I'm saying the same thing she's saying, you guys. I'm close though, right? I'm close. One more look at his meal. All right, so my wife's enjoying her holla holla. And my daughter enjoying fries. All right, be back when the rest of the meal comes. Okay. Some white nachos just came. Look at them, guys. They look good. Go ahead, eat one. Don't video me. I'm not. She said, don't video her. <laughs> Is it good? She said it's good. So, we, us three still waiting for our food. But they're the fries, that fries are almost done. He's tying his plate up. Now I gotta do it over. Got my mango shake, you guys. So good, so good, so good. Them two eat, and us three, we still waiting. We still waiting for our food. What's up? Now they got us waiting for our food. So, I got my meal, you guys. See that Hungarian sausage? It's actually so good. I'm gonna give you a couple of french fries with it. But, that sausage is so tasty and spicy. Don't me in it, okay? Okay. So, the kids got their Sundays. Hey, guys. It's strange though, but they fried chicken haven't came out yet. Thank <laughs> you. 
I got my food. He got his burger and that, and the wife got her food, but the, they food haven't come yet. They, they ordered fried chicken. It hasn't come. I just asked him about it, so. And I'm almost finished with mine, and the kids still haven't got their food. So, I just asked about it. I don't know what's taking so long. Maybe they had to go catch the chicken and kill it. All right, guys, you back. All right, guys, so they fried chicken finally came. Don't to get a couple fries in there, but they got two pieces of fried chicken and a few fries, so. And they got their Sundays, and I'm almost finished. All right, guys. So that's our that meal for the day. We're in the mall, and now the kids can go shopping after we finish. So now it's better, you guys. They got rice. They want rice with the chicken. Everybody got their rice with the chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful daughters. They tearing it up. Look at them. Wife over there, she say don't film her, but I'm filming her. That's my son, son. So. Alright, guys, so we're gonna finish our meal and I'll be back later. What's up, you guys? So, yesterday after eating at the mall, we didn't really film no more after that. The kids went to the arcade. I pretty much went back to the room with Snap. So, this is the next day. We're down there waiting for our breakfast in the hotel. Me, my daughter, and my son. And my other daughter right there. She doing what she do best, you guys, on her phone. Chatting. The brother-in-law. Beautiful, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we just wait. Everybody ready to eat. Hungry. Whatever, whatever my daughter said. So got my coffee. You see, I made a mess, so I got a napkin there. All right, guys, we back. All right, guys. So we left the hotel. We back in uh, downtown to Cloven. We gotta come to this pet shop, but it's not open. But let me show you guys where I'm at. So we on this little street right here. You guys can see the little motor parts and stuff. This is a one-way street, so I better be looking this way so I don't get hit. But you see the, the motorcycle carrier, see his? 0122, he's already ready. He's staring at me too. He's like, why is he filming me? So this is the pet store right here, Vet Care. Uh, I think it was supposed to open at eight, but it's not open. But we're here to get some medicine for fleas. Cause you know, we, we make sure our dog don't have fleas, but we also can get some extra pills uh, for the other dogs that normally that's in our yard, but you know, our special our three little puppies, uh, we gonna get pills for them. Try to cut down on them fleas. Um, so here we are, we back in downtown to Cloven. So check this out, you guys. Look at all these little carts and stuff. Motorcycle carts, a lot of them. A lot of different ones. So it's early in the morning and it's already getting crowded. All right, you guys, so. That's how they make their money with these little carts. You see people in them. So people buy a motorcycle and then attach the carriers on the side on it. So just wanted to show you guys where I'm at right now, downtown Tacoban. All right, guys, be back. <laughs> All right, guys, so you see behind me, we at the hardware store. Uh, my wife and brother-in-law are in there. Uh, we need to get some parts. Uh, for one of the boat motors. So uh, that's what we're doing right now, early in the morning. The pet store not open, so we're gonna go back over there. But this is where I'm at now, still downtown Tacoban. This is called a Jipney bus right there. This one made by Mercedes. So it's a lot of those uh, for transportation. Uh, you see the little red one across the street. There go another motorbike transportation right there. So 
So here's another little tiny, I guess the, these are jipney buses right here. People get on these and, and, and ride them. I think it costs about maybe, I don't know, um, 40 cents or 50 cents to ride those jipney buses. And you just get on and they estimate how far you go and then you just pay. But we're right here at this hardware store right here. Lucky's Hardware Store. They inside, I'm outside. But it's early in the morning. So you know this time, this gets busy. It's already busy this early. You see some of the shops over there opening up now. Uh, a lot of transportation buses early in the morning. So people out early in the morning going to work or whatever. So you see stands and stuff open right there. This is another Jimmy bus. But he don't have no business yet. Now see this one is full. Right? We're kind of full. Alright guys, we back. So guys, we're at McDonald's waiting for some food. Let me show y'all McDonald's here. So it's kind of busy. So that's what's left for the McDonald's. My daughter's still over there munching on her uh, sausage and muffin. So we're back at the pet store. So my wife is in there. We're gonna get some flea medicine. Then we're gonna head back to our hotel. And then we're gonna go grocery shopping. So you guys can see. We got a little bit more busy in here. You see all the motorcycle carts. Uh, for, for transportation and stuff. Oh, okay. My wife is ready, so all right, be back, you guys. So, you guys, I'm in the store now. Uh, let me just stand real quick so you guys can see the store. So I think they say no, no video cameras in the store, but we're in Robinson Market. You guys can see it's a big market. Somebody looking at me standing already, so. Uh, I'm gonna flip this around here. So they got a wife and stuff up there. But I'm gonna go through here, see the meat department down there. And then it's a pretty big store. That's the front of the store right there. So I'm gonna turn this off for now and I'm gonna go get my meat. All right, guys, so we finished grocery shopping. Uh, I'm uh, coming right out tomorrow now, going to the hotel for our groceries. Wife is. Wife is still, uh, oh, you got put in the car? Oh, okay. So I was wrong. Um, so I forgot we got a, the van here with us. We usually go put these in the hotel lobby until it's time to leave. Uh, but these boxes you see right here is all our groceries. The three guys are uh, taken to the car. So that's the mall right there we just left. That's our hotel right there. So we just walk up under that and we're inside the mall. This is the back parking lot. So we're going down here to our van, put the groceries in the van now. Uh, this place right here is a transportation terminal, bus terminal. And this is where people come if they need a ride anywhere. With these boxes is all our groceries right here. So we're gonna get them all in the car. That's trans transportation terminal over there. So you can see it's a lot of buses and and these little all kind of transportation. Meet up over here and people come over here and they need a ride home and they just choose what they want. You can see the security out there. So we're gonna get all our boxes in the van. So this is how I survive throughout the month. All this not mine. Uh, our kids next door, the grown kids, they got groceries. Then we got cleaning supplies and 
everything. So I'll be back, you guys. I'm going to pay these guys right here for bringing this over, and I'll be right back. So I'm going back into the mall real quick. My wife's still in there. Those three guys taking the basket back to the mall. But I made their day. I gave them each 200 pesos just for bringing the groceries over here. So um, they happy with that. Pedestrians don't have the right of way here, so I'm surprised these cars stop. So you look at it and see, he's still trying to get across here before we get across. Pedestrians do not have right of way here in the Philippines, you guys. Look at that motorcycle just passed by. I don't know if All right, guys, so I'm going back here in the mall. I'll be back. All right, guys, so we're in another small town on our way home. Uh, my wife just walked down this way in front of me. I'm going to get some potatoes. My daughter just went across the street. Terry uh, Guerra, that's how you said this is this little small town. So you can see there's a lot of storage here uh, on both sides of me. Uh, it's busy here. So I'm going to go down here and see where my wife went, but I think it's a vegetable stand right down here on the end that you guys can see. And then my daughter went over there somewhere to uh, get a dress or something. So, I'm gonna walk down here. Got my mask halfway on. Uh, but the water's right behind this building right here, but my wife should be in here somewhere. Yeah, there she go, getting some potatoes. This is a vegetable stand right here. And then, uh, I think that's the fish market down there with a big green building at. But it stores everywhere here, all the way down here. This is where a lot of people come shop at too. So we're kind of on the far end. But this is all these vegetable stands down here too. But each street you go down to be crowded with all different kind of food stand, vegetable stands, clothes stand. So just wanted you guys to see that. This is where we're at on our way back to the dock to go home. All right, you guys. So I'm in this little building. Uh, my daughter, is, can you put those? Yeah. Okay. My daughter's buying some school shoes. She already got some dress. She's right there trying on shoes. So. As soon as she gets, as soon as she gets some shoes, we're gonna be heading back out. Um, but you guys can see, this is a pretty big building. We got a lot of clothes and stuff in here, a lot of bags and shoes and things like that. So, hi. So, switch this around so you guys can see. Stuff all on the wall. So, we sell just about a lot of stuff in, a lot of different stuff in here, so. So, I think she's finished. And I'll be back. All right, guys, so we're here at the dock. Uh, you see our boat behind us. There's my dog that was in the back, getting ready to jump down. So we're getting ready to get these boxes unloaded, uh, get them on the boat, get home. Uh, but this time in town, we was only there one night, and the place we go where the live band is at, um, there was no live band last night, so we couldn't do that part. Um, but we still had a good time. The kids got the kids out, the kids got the shop. So now we're going to get ready to get this van unloaded, get it on the boat, and we're going to go back. But this is what we do every weekend. This is what I do to survive. Um, you know, I give me some chicken and a little bit of beef. Um, but I changed my diet a little bit. Now I, I get like oatmeal and brand cereal and all of that, which I didn't used to get. But you see, uh, these guys going to help and, and get the boat loaded. Uh, usually, my wife say when they do this, because you know it's fast, someone usually give them 20 pesos, but when we when we come through and they load my boat, I give everybody 100 pesos, uh, especially
Especially this one little kid too, he's a small kid. He always here helping, so I even get him 100 pesos. But that's us, get ready, get loaded, get ready to go on this boat, get ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. So that was just our little adventure just for one day. So this is Black Man in the Village. Uh, for those who have subscribed already, thank you. We very much appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, hit that like button. Uh, we got a great video coming up in the next couple of days. Um, so you guys be looking for it. Uh, but that's what we do here. Help us help others. Black man in the village. Love you. All right, guys. So this is another blessing for, for my mother-in-law for her birthday. One of my subscribers sent this. Um, so it's very much appreciated. So this is to my mother-in-law for a subscriber for, for her birthday. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. So that's what we do here, you guys. Help us help others. So my mother-in-law was blessed for her birthday. Thank you again, Black Man in the Village. This, this is my father-in-law right here. So he said thank you too. Alright guys, so peace out, be back, love you.